Hello and welcome. I'm Xander. Here we are once again in Skyrim. And I've decided that what we're going to do is we're going to basically, how should I say, proc the main story quest. Now, I believe because of the way we exited said building, in the very beginning of the game, we've already broken our chance of making this work right. So, I'm going to use fast travel because I have decided, unless, you know, I'm going to at least start the main story quest and I'm going to watch the comments on the previous video or even this video. Or, well, I'll watch comments anyhow, but I'm going to take particular interest in ones relating to the basically scrapping of this. Not scrapping as in stopping. Well, I will be stopping, but not stopping. I'm going to complete the main story on this. Call this one completed. I'll keep the file around in case I ever decide to pick it back up or something, but the idea is to make a long-running character with a long-running story that has explanations behind it. But, first things first, we came out by this mill. I looked it up. Why is it so dark? And, honestly, because of the way I've adjusted and added and removed and this, that, and whatnot in mods to this, uh, it's only a matter of time before this save ends up almost corrupting itself. Because, basically, that's what's most likely going to happen, due to the fact that I did not keep the mods in this, how should I say, consistent. Because I have, in fact, removed some mods and containing scripts. And that's one of the first roads to having a save that'll slowly devour itself from the inside out. And I'd prefer to avoid that. And one of the easiest ways I could think of to do that is to basically sort of rush through the story. But there's also the slight predicament of... How did I get there? That looks like a shrine of Talos. You know what? We have the Dark Souls stuff in. So, uh, okay, here we go. Let's just see if this will properly work. Hello? Oh. Okay. Bam. Your soul has been bound to this shrine. Very good. It's in the chest. Gold and a potion of night. Or of the night, rather. And I'm hoping that this fort up here is the one that contained the cells that we started in. Oh, come on, you stupid bristleback. Don't be dumb. Ow. Is that Bristleback attacking a bandit? It is. I'm curious. Who will win? Bristleback versus bandit. Oh, that's just cheating. You. Don't ruin the fight. I was watching that. Hey, gold. Hmm. Silver. See? Human flesh. Ooh, potion of cure disease. Who's winning? I can't tell. I can't tell who's winning. Oh, oh. Bristleback seems to have won by a landslide. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I'm curious as to whether or not this is the fort. It very well may not be. This isn't. 
I can tell you right now. I should have processed it when it said silver sword. Yeah, these are silver hand. This is not the right place. Where's my horse? That's ah, correct. So then this raises the question of where does that lead to? Because this leaves me in a bit of a state of confusion now. Now I'm thinking the simplest possible way, which may or may not be true, would be to simply re-enter the waterfall I came out of and check out what the name of, list of said listed fort is. This requires finding the waterfall, but that shouldn't be the hardest of things. And that's not helpful. Who in the world thinks that's helpful? Uh, you might be that place up there, to be honest. It's so close to the sight range. It's gotta be it, right? Can I look at the map and see it on the map? No, no, because I'm not there yet. I knew that. Don't question me. Fort Amal. What? I don't know how I feel about this. I'm warning you, back off. I'm warning you to back off. Ow. Uh oh, 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 that's not what I was supposed to do. Do 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 Q No 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 no. Okay, fine. Oh. That right there is one of the biggest reasons why I've become slightly, what should I say, less interested. It's a bit buggy. You know what? Screw you people. I'm going inside. Although I have this feeling. Yeah, this is the right place. Hmm. I'm warning you, back off. I'm backing off, I'm backing off. Hey you, how you doing? You won't leave here alive. I won't, huh? I think it's you that won't leave alive. Are you happy now? Are you happy you screwed with me? Huh? <sighs> that looks like it could be it. That very much so looks like it could be it. Oh, shut up, wolves. Nobody loves you. Abandoned prison? Abandoned prison? Abandoned prison! Whee! Although, it's questionable as to whether or not I may have just broken it entirely by choosing this path. If I can't trigger it and get it to actually start, we may have a problem. A very, very large problem. Because... That right there may just completely screw this entire ordeal on its own. Which is not at all what I want. But it very well may happen. And this would not please me. This in fact would do the opposite. It would make me slightly upset. Granted. It's not working. Why is this not working? Better question. 
Why am I? Why, why can I do this? If I destroy it. No, 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 no. I don't want to uninstall it. I definitely do not want to do that. Uh, revise? See, that's not helpful. I'm confused. I've never actually had this issue before. I've done plenty of other starts using this mod, and I've never had it where it doesn't work. Is there another book that I'm being an idiot and not reading? Or, whoops. Uh. That's not helpful. It's a skill book, but that's not helpful. Hmm. Well, isn't this just covered in unfortunateness? Ness, ness, ness. Ness? Hmm. Alright. I seem to have gotten rid of the torches. Six. Uh. Well, this is a bit. How should I say? Awkward? This is not how things were supposed to unfold. Not in the slightest. Hmm. The ghosts are back. This also is not supposed to unfold. Oh. What? Oh, statue's gone. Curious. Very curious. I don't care. I'm assuming if I go out this door. Oh. I wonder if it was an actually just an alternate copy of the same place. Like a complete copy of it. And then when you leave, you can't actually access the same one anymore. Therefore, meaning that I have actually potentially screwed it entirely. Which would then potentially mean there's no possible way I could do the main story. See, it says begin my new life, but how do I do said thing? Normally, it has flavor text on NPCs or something silly like that that gives you an idea of such information. This isn't good. The rain looks pretty. But, this isn't good. I had not considered this. Okay, Candlelight, go away. Thank you. Uh... Maybe I need to talk about latest rumors to an NPC somewhere? Where's all the NPCs when you want them? You. Yes, you. I used to have five good men who worked the mill with me. Then this war started yep, and they all that's... ran off. That's not helpful. Seriously. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
This is not how I meant to drink an Estus flask, but it is how I've done it. have not progressed as they were supposed to, but uh, we're not discussing that. Okay? Okay. Confirm. We agree. Discussion of that shall not happen. That said, I have no idea where my horse is. That's a wolf. I don't care about the wolf. It's going to attack me. And now it's dead. Because kill me. Okay. We're not gonna talk about that. That was a saber cat inside of a house. That, uh... We don't... No, no. We're just... Just no. Okay? You understand? You got that? Okay, good. No. That... That's my only response. Excuse me. Excuse me. You. Think you might be in the wrong place, friend. Fine. Not you. What about you? Are you helpful? Or are you another idiot that won't talk to me? <laughs> Damn faithless Ugh. imperials. I hate you people. I hate you so, so very much. Well, he exists. Uh, we, are you helpful? No, oh, pardon me. No, I'm not anyway. You're not helpful. Okay. What about you? I can take you to any of the hold cap. It's an old city. I, it's not the friendliest place. You're not helpful. Outside. I'm running out of ideas. Guards aren't helpful. They're never helpful. I think I might have to go to an inn somewhere I can talk about latest rumors, maybe? And this is gonna go on forever at this rate. I may have made a mistake. Another thing I've considered doing is streaming my adventures and then just uploading them straight to YouTube from Twitch. Because I've been asked about streaming, but uh, it would be far more interesting if I basically streamed my way the whole way through Morrowind, then played through Oblivion. Don't, don't even ask me what I just did there. I got distracted by talking to myself, technically. But... Uh, and then Skyrim. It could potentially take Come on in. months Let me know if you need anything, uh, to upload to YouTube in a normal now. fashion. This here's Candlehawk Hall. That. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent. There we go. Very good. Very good. That's what we wanted. Basically, what that said was there's rumors about Ulfric, and you should talk to Sam in Kynesgrove. Uh, I ha I'm not walking to the stables. I've gone lazy. This will not be a problem whenever we next come through uh, Skyrim on the adventures of the other character. Should that happen, it very well could happen. I think the problem was if I do streaming, the quality might be questionable. That's the word I'm going with. I've always thought streams were of a questionable quality, but I don't have that great of an upload to begin with, so it, it just might be of a questionable quality. We'll see. Uh, I don't need you. Why am I looking at you? So distracted. Much distract. Very well. Uh, 
so how much I have no idea how much time this was spent here because I don't have OBS conveniently giving me timers anymore and Shadow Play doesn't conveniently give me a timer either so I didn't look at the clock because I'm a terrible person is he actually here or is he somewhere else? Because I don't want to chase him across the world. Oh, convenient. I'm looking about information about war operations in Helgen. Uh huh. Uh, what about this? What about this? What about this? Ah. Okay. Word has it there's an operation underway near Darkwater Crossing. A big one, involving General Tullius himself. They're scouring the woods, preparing an ambush for a high-value Stormcloak target. Only one target could get Tullius out in the woods. Ulfric Stormcloak, leader of the Rebellion. I don't know anything more, but folks living in dark water crossing must know something. Okay. Conveniently, I believe we may have crossed paths with there once before. No, 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 I lied. But, yes, I've gone completely lazy. Why? Because of what's going to happen. I'm going to walk down the road and fight a Durzog. Or maybe a Reekling. Or maybe a Bandit. It's going to be dumb. And pointless. And stupid. And nothing is going to come of it. Because let's be honest. That's what's going to happen. And I'm going to get a whole lot of experience in the not having a fast travel department if I start up the other thing. So. Laziness. I'm letting the laziness ensue now, for I will not have the luxury later. That's my excuse. Stay in with it. Don't judge me. Uh, this water is perceptively deep. Not perceptively. Uh, deceptively. Words. They are clearly working very effectively for me at this exact moment. Words are very wordy. Okay, I'm gonna stop being an idiot now. Another random topic. I watch a lot of YouTube. And lately I've come to the realization that professionalism, that there's two different types of professionalism. There's getting too professional. Trying to actually be a professional. Trying, you know, fix things that you believe you're doing wrong in what you're doing. And then there's just general professionalism, you know, ensuring proper quality of, just of content, such like that. You're looking for work? And I've come to realize your trouble, that and telling tales again? Let's, let's continue this in a sec. I've been told an imperial operation has taken place near here. Your information is a little out of date. General Tullius just left not too long ago. His group captured a number of rebel soldiers. They were overheard talking about taking them all to Helgen. Nobody has any idea why they'd go there, though. Helgen hardly has the prison space to hold them all. Okay, so... Uh, basically, a number of the YouTubers that I've watched, like, especially if they're, say, someone that I'm like, oh, I find some of their con content and go, oh, this is pretty good, you know, whatever. Yeah, fine, fine, I'll subscribe to this person, right? If you start at the beginning of their videos and watch them progress, the ones that are normally the best are the ones that don't change themselves, if you know what I mean. Like, there are some people that get so focused on the idea of professionalism whenever, say, their channel gets large, that it gets to the point where they're being too professional. They're no longer making the content you watched them, you know, for. 
and like I don't know. It's really hard to explain. Mostly because I'm bad at explaining things to people. You know what? Can I? No. The closest step in is here. Which is still considerably closer than here. So, I don't know. I just thought, uh, maybe it's just me. And yes, yes, I'm just partly trying to find something to talk about while I do this, because nothing is interesting really going on. But it's just something that's been bothering me lately. Like, chances are if you've watched a lot of Minecraft, you know of, at least, of someone named Good, Good Boulderfist. And if you go back and you watch all of his old content, right? And then you watch his new content. Uh, I'm not sure about their Pantheon playthrough, but uh, aside from that, because I haven't actually watched that, but it, it became less and less if him just being an idiot, basically. Like, sometimes when he plays a puzzle game, he does nothing about it. Starts to, you know, come back a bit, but he's... The responses are never quite the same. I think the most recent thing that he did that I think actually caught the old charm of uh how he used to play games was his alien isolation. And, you know, I, that, that was okay, but it still seemed like, I don't know. And then, the biggest thing. The biggest thing that's always annoyed me. Like, especially long-standing ones, where they also get, like, better and better and whatnot. You know, or I should say more subscribers. You'll notice they'll start buying high-quality microphones and this, that, and whatnot. And the biggest mistake they make is they try to buy this professional equipment, right? Things like the Blue Snowball microphone, which seems to be ever-popular. But, you know, they buy these super high-quality, like, studio-level microphones, and then they're in an environment that's basically an office that's not set up in any acoustical way to prevent echo. Like, I'm not gonna lie. My audio quality is not perfect. And I know that my audio, my microphone's actually fairly sensitive, to be honest. But, you know, I don't, I do everything I can to minimize the echo. Like, it's really hard to explain my microphone, unless you're somebody who knows what I'm talking about. But my microphone is a microphone from, like, the 90s. Like, those old white desktop microphones. That's what I use. The, you know, I've noticed that a lot of the old electronic equipment I've sitting around in terms of, like, audio is normally leaps and bounds better than current equipment. I mean, yeah, I have get a bit of a background hum on this, and there's not a whole lot I can do about that, because I really just can't. Uh, the big reason is, I think it has to do with the general wiring of the house I live in. We ignore the fact that it sounded like there was a bear fighting a Spriggan back there, and that's completely, totally not right, but, um, you know, that's not even the fault of the microphone, honestly. That's the fault of the environment it's being used in. But, uh, I have that, it's currently, oh, I should have been here during the day, we probably could have seen Alderman, but, uh, basically, it, it is currently duct taped to so the top of an old, like, Frito-Lay can, if you know what those are like, the, uh, I think it's actual, like, Fritos. 
Yes. Yes, it is. But, that's to give it an extra height so it can stick out more, because it's sitting on a table that I just found in the house, basically, next to me. So it's not next to my mic, or next to my keyboard, to help cut down on keyboard audio effect on it. Uh, read the journal. Okay. And then that is, that's why I need the extra height, because that table also doesn't match up with the height of my chair, which barely matches up the height of my desk. But that makes it so I can get a little bit closer to try and reduce the echo. You know, like I said, there's a difference between professionalism in how you're trying to do things, as if you're a professional at what you're doing, instead of letting it come naturally, and a professional in your equipment. And then there's going to professional. Get out of here, Uh, Twelfth of Last Seed, Fourth Era, 201. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is soon is ending soon, and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. Fourth of Last Seed, Fourth Era, 201. I received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now, probably for the first time since High King Torrid was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. Fifth of Last Seed, Fourth Era, 201. So much for being discreet, I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area has filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they're searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am sneaking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. 16th of Last Seed, 4th Era, 201. I woke early this morning with an Imperial sword pressed to my neck. The patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they let me keep my, jur keep my journal for now. 7th of Last Seed, 4th Era, 201. Shore's bones, if only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives in the cart. Uh, the ambush. The captives in the cart with me. Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big, black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village in the keep. General Tolius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several storm Stormcloak rebels, but that doesn't matter now. Hedvar and Rayloff set aside their differences long enough to help me and a few others escape alive. Only the three of us made it this far. They've gone back into the keep to help the other survivors, while I've been asked to get a warning to Riverwood as fast as possible. I still can't believe it. A dragon. Straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. Well, you're a bit roasty-toasty now, my little friend. I say a little, for all I know, you could have been a Nord. But, uh... I guess the only thing to do now is, uh... Take ourselves a little journey to Riverwood and give them a warning, I guess. I'm assuming Riverwood. Uh... Investigate the cave mentioned, or when the residents of Riverwood... See, I tried investigating the cave once before with this, and... It doesn't seem to really process that much. Alright, that's the words I'm going with. Process. It just doesn't update properly. So, what I'm going to do, aside from probably go completely the wrong direction, as I do, is we are going to head... Okay, troll. Whatever, troll. Go on about your merry business. Uh... Aha. Uh okay, -huh. so... Once I get to Riverwood... I'm stopping... 
the duration of this. This probably has gone on way too long at this point. But I'm questioning that. So that said, my other little rant is over. This is random things. It occurred to me that I feel the need to rant about at random. Mostly because of this current point, this well, this entire this entire playthrough of Skyrim was never really designed around the idea of like a role play. If that makes sense. Squeeze me. Nobody I saw a dragon. No, if I go in there right now, bad things will happen. Probably. It's the middle of the night. So, I'm ta basically taking all of the previous restrictions and throwing them out the window for now. Ain't every day we get visited. You! Talk to what me. A dragon! A tech Helgen! Understood? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. Well, you flew right. off this way. I saw it. Didn't want to believe my own eyes is all. A dragon here in Skyrim. What's the say? What coming to? First the war. I hate to just dragons. cancel another series. Trouble loves company, they say. The Yarl but needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. I'm gonna leave we this. We need to get word to Yarl Balgraf in White Run to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll let him stop talking. Be in Good day. So, I think I'm actually going to leave this here. I'm going to start recording into a strange, Morrowind you? series. I'm telling you, I heard it. And those weird ones are I'm going to let the state of this sort of simmer. Let people discuss it. And then I will determine how I'm going to proceed with it. Maybe I'll just this series, or if I'll try to